I grabbed a cardboard box for this epic wall feature. I printed a design and then traced it on a Ziploc bag with a black Sharpie. Next time I think I would tape the Ziploc bag down so it doesn't move when you're tracing it. Next I placed the design on the cardboard box to see how big I needed to cut my hole out. So you want to cut just a little bit bigger than the size of your design. Cut your Ziploc bag so you have one layer of plastic and then tape it onto the box. Tape all sides to make sure it's nice and tight. I've tried different lights, but I found a cell phone light seems to work the best. So place it inside the box, close the lid up tight. You want to be in a dark room for this to work. So close up all the curtains and blinds, put up blankets if you need to, and turn the lights off and you've got yourself a DIY projector. Isn't this so cool? Now you can trace your design on the wall. Turn the lights on when you're done and you can paint it now. I absolutely love watching this, just seeing this come to life. Honestly, I think this is one of my favorite projects to do, making a projector and putting it on a wall and creating something so beautiful. From start to finish, it took me about five hours to do this project, but I loved every minute of it. I did it at a friend's house, and I just love how it turned out. Once it dried, I erased all the extra pencil marks with an eraser and then wiped it clean with a damp cloth. I made this stunning wall feature for just the cost of a small can of paint. Like, how good is this? Let me know in the comments if you're going to try a DIY projector and subscribe for 